Francisco Oropesa is uh, the man who has been accused of murdering five people, five of his neighbors in Texas, including an eight-year-old child. The five people murdered are all Honduran nationals. Uh, Julissa Molina Rivera, age 31. Sonia Argentina Guzman, age 25. Diana Alvarado, age 21. Jose Casares, age 18. And Danielle Lasso, age eight. Five people murdered in cold blood. This murderer, Francisco Oropesa, is on the loose. He's on the lam. The sheriff in Texas has handed it over to the FBI because they don't know where he went and they can't find him. He's armed and dangerous, considered to be literally anywhere. This killer is 38 years old. And what what surfaced, um, not immediately when this story was reported, but what has since surfaced is that Francisco Oropesa is an illegal alien. He is not a citizen of the United States. He is here in our country against the law. He is prohibited from being in our country, and yet he not only is here, he murdered five people while here. He's been deported reportedly three different times and come back. So started out not in our country, came across the border. ICE deported him. He came back. ICE deported him again. He came back again. ICE deported him a third time, most recently in 2016. And yet here he is again. He is back and a killer. And when Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas was asked this past weekend um, to talk about border security because clearly our border is not secured. If this murderer was able to enter our country illegally four times, I guess, because if he entered three, if he was deported three times, that means he entered three times, and then a fourth because he's here now. Mayorkas was asked to define well, what what exactly is a secure border given the context of the mass amount of illegal aliens who are pouring across our border. This is what Mayorkas said. Take a listen. What's uh, the definition of secure border to you? It is in the context uh, in which we are working. It is maximizing the resources that we have available to us to deliver the most effective results. What? What does that even mean? Maximizing the resources available to us to create the the best results. What is the best results? How are you maximizing resources? This is obviously a lie, right? You and I can sit here and we can say, okay, well, that's not true. Mayorkas um, and the Biden administration have done the opposite of maximizing their capacity for border security. They could easily secure the border. They could stop immigration. They could um, they could have continued remain in Mexico. They could stop catch and release. They could do any number of things to better secure our border, and yet they chose, deliberately chose not to. With the border as insecure as it is, as porous, as open, as dangerous, it leads to things like this. It leads to illegal aliens who commit horrendous crimes. Not every illegal alien commits crimes, but this one did. This man, who should not have been here, committed a mass murder, five innocent people, an eight-year-old, a 31-year-old, a 25-year-old, a 21-year-old, and an 18-year-old are gone. They're dead because of this illegal alien. And Mayorkas said that, oh, maximizing resources to the best possible result. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? 